Hi everyone and welcome back. So now in this video, we'll plot interactive bubble charts for our GDP and life expectancy scatter plots that we have plotted in our previous video. So here I'll just write PX dot and we'll just write scatter PX dot scatter and here we'll be giving this data that is our gap binder 2007 comma on x axis we want it to be year and on y axis we want it to be life expectancy all right so on y axis we want it to be our life expectancy all right so i have given this here it should be we want to plot this between the life expectancy and gdp per capita so i'll just skip GBT, gdp per cap and the life expectancy all right now here we will add this color so we'll give this color equals to and the color we want it to be the continent so continent and now i will add this so if i run this you will see that this is just like a uh, our scatter plot that we have done previously in our previous video right now to make this a bubble plot or to make this a bubble chart we can just give comma and here we can give this size equals to instead of giving some numeric value here we will be adding this pop so we have given this size equals to pop and now let's run this so here we have got this uh, our here we have got this bubble plot right we have got all these bubbles and now let's add this so you can change this size as well so we can add this size underscore max equals to 60 so now let's run it all right so here it should give i should give this size max and let's run this now here you have got this a uh, bubble plot right so these countries are asia here you have the asia then if you want to hide it any country you can do that let's hide this all and here we have the this the graph of this asia you want to see for the europe you can add just the europe right and here you can see the continent you can see the gdp per capita you can see the life expectancy you can see the population right you can see all this numeric value over here so in size we have added this a uh, population instead of giving any numeric value here we had this column which is population so we have added that in our this pop so now whatever size that you see over here it is according to the population so this big plot they have the uh, they are having more population and also here you can see this is asia so in asia you have more population right you have china we have india and they are the first and the second rank country that are having more population and you have this europe and here you can see those country who are having less population they are having more life expectancy here as well right so you can do that analysis and you can see it here in this bubble plot all right here you have this uh, your africa there uh, the countries they are having this a very less population but still their life expectancy and gdp per capita is very low and there are some countries who are having good uh, your per capita income and life expectancy so this is our bubble plot now in this bubble plot you can do many things like you can give this a country name for example we are not able to identify which country it is so we can add this country name so i'll just copy this and here we'll just copy it let's go down and here we'll give let me just paste it here we can just give comma here we will just write hover that is hover name whatever whenever we are taking this mouse to this different continent it should tell us the country as well so we'll give hover name and the hover name is going to be we are going to add this as country now let's run this so here if i take my this mouse here you can see this is china in asia and here this is india right so they are having the more population and their, you can see the their population you can see life expectancy you can see gdp per capita and this is for 
China, here you have this United States, right? And you can see all this stuff in this bubble plot. So now here we have added this bubble plot and we have customized this. And now you can do a better analysis in just one graph. Now, in our next video, we will see how we can create interactive animations and also how we can plot this facet plots using Plotly to analyze our GapMinder data. So I'll see you there. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. If you have liked our content, please do hit like button and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more useful content and exciting updates. If you want to learn such practical content at an affordable cost with Microsoft certification and instructor support, please register at academy.codenan.com. You can also download app from Play Store as Codenan. Never hesitate to raise queries in the comment section and please do reply with your suggestions for more practical videos. We'll be happy to come up with it. Thank you.